Let's talk about making money online. There's been a lot of confusion. There's been many people who are somewhat really troubled. That's a really good word for it. Troubled, not really understanding. So I'm going to tell you how it really is. Making money online is fucking hard. I know I was supposed to give you some simple, quick, easy, motivational message about what it takes to make money online. I do apologize. I don't have any of that stuff. If you are really, really interested in making money online, I want you to listen to me. I want you to pay attention because I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Work. Work some more. Work tonight, work tomorrow, work this weekend, work next weekend, work next summer, work this summer, work Christmas. You need to work. One of the things that is really frustrating for me, very, very frustrating, I have stuff that I can give you that will help you, but it's got to go through this bullshit filter. This, it is so, I, it, it's like so thick that if I tell you that you will have to work and that perhaps you'll work for a while and not make any money, somehow I'm deceiving you. You actually believe that you somehow will create this quick solution and make a lot of money real fast. And if it doesn't happen like that, then there's something wrong. What's really wrong is your perspective. You can make money on a lot. You can make a lot of money online, but more than likely before you start making money, you will fail. You will lose money. You will make mistakes. You will drive yourself crazy. I've been making money online since 2000 through various sources, eBay, Amazon. At one point, I was doing a little bit of Etsy. Uh, that's when they were really, really hard on, you know, bringing in product that wasn't handcrafted. They don't really care anymore. Making money online is not some magical super fraternity where you know you know the secret handshake and the code and you press the button on the wall and no it's not like that. What you have to do is figure out something that you like long enough to deal with the bullshit that's going to come with making money online. I love writing. Fucking hate editing. I now like YouTube making YouTube videos. I used to fucking hate making YouTube videos. There are so many things that you have to go through to be successful long term. Because, you know, many people in inbox me and they, they want to be writers and they want to write a book. And that's great. That's awesome. Or writing a book is fucking hard. It is. And... Also, this, this is the thing with writing a book. And I've written some that went nowhere. But you can put a lot of time, effort, you can spend money for a great cover, and the shit still will not sell. Then you can wake up one morning and write some shit for, for just fun. Just some wild ass shit. You just pull all the wild ads out your ass, put it on the paper, and throw that shit up on Kindle, and it sells like hotcakes. And you're like, how the fuck? Did that happen? Because it happened to me. A book that I worked on one day took off under a pen name. It was in the right genre. And that's something I will tell you. I'll give you a secret here. Write your book in a genre where there's a lot of readers already. You can build a genre. It's hard. That goes back to the work. You can build a business. You can build a website. I had a guy on here uh, in the Badass Hustlers component. Check that playlist out. He built a business in the weekend that got to the point where he was able to quit his job in six weeks after building that business. However, 
the backstory, and I'm going to give you the backstory because the backstory is very, very important. He's had businesses before. How many times do I tell you this that you need to get started with something? Now, let's just cut to the chase of making money online. Number one, you have to stick with it for at least a year or two. I know. Now, before we get to that, you have to validate, test to see if your concept will make some money. I'm not saying stick with uh, something for a year or two and nobody's buying after a month or two. It's just, no, the, the marketplace is telling you there's something really wrong with your product. It's telling you there's something really wrong with what you're doing. But you have to stick with it. Now, let's talk about how much money can you realistically make online as an inexperienced person. You've never been online before. You don't know what you're doing. You've never built a website. You're not interested in building a website. I want to say not a lot. I'm going to say probably if you are diligent, 10000 20000 your first year. Minus costs, you might be at a $5,000 profit. Now let's crank it up. Say you have web experience. Now, for the people who do eBay and Amazon, go ahead, just get ready to get your panties all balled up. And you, man, just take them off because you, you're going to get them all hitched up in there and you're going to have a wedgie. If you've been doing eBay business and Amazon business, then you're only marginally better than someone who's never done something at all online. In fact, the person who is stupid and realizes that they're stupid is maybe 90% ahead of where you are. Because you're like, I did Amazon and I did eBay and I did this store. So I do I do. No, no, no. You know how to work a system. Granted, these systems are difficult, but you know how to work a system. When you can sell your products and services from your website or some web asset that you control enough to make a living consistently year after year after year, then you actually know what you're doing. But if you cannot do that, no, you don't know what you're doing. One of the reasons I feel that I was able to be successful fairly quickly is I have fucked up quite a bit. I've made a lot of mistakes. It's just, it gets to the point when you make so many mistakes, you know, you can feel the slippery slope coming under your feet. Like, whoa, whoa, if I go one more inch further, I'm going over. You know, you can just feel the fuck up coming. You can just like, oh, here it is. And then you ask yourself this question. Is this fuck up detrimental? Because there, there's, there's many different schools of thoughts on this. To get wealthy is... Don't make any mistakes. Manage risk. Now, the people who have become fantastically wealthy have taken huge calculated uh, container risk. They, they knew what was going on. They had, there's a lot of pieces going on, especially when you get to the multi-billion dollar company. There's a lot of moving parts. So you just can't go at one strategy. There's so much that's going on. A the way the world is today, you can build a company that loses money and still make money. In no time in history has this stuff been like this before. But typically, you have a steep learning curve. Now, let, let's just really talk about that. If you are going to keep looking for systems, and there are some systems that work. There are some systems that work really well. I'm not going to marginalize them. I'm not even going to marginalize the people who are doing Kindle books because essentially they've become publishers. They have said, hey, I have an ideal concept. I'm going to go out and hire someone to write this book. That's the same thing Random House does, Wiley Books. Uh, Huff. This is what the big publishers, they buy your books. They buy books from authors. Then they put them on wherever they want to put them. They put them in the bookstores. It's the same principle. So I'm not going to marginalize, slam somebody for doing the same thing. What I will say is that many of you are killing certain niches like I've never seen before because I don't participate in a lot of groups, but I'm a member of a lot of groups, and I see where we're heading. Now, about four years ago, I made this prediction that Amazon was going to have a way that they're going to reduce author's income. And this is why. For every author that was writing in, say, 2009, 2010, there's about 50 more writing now. So for every one that was back then, there's 50 to 100 more authors, and some of them are damn fucking good. 
Some of them are amazing. So you, you have this pool of talent where the floor is your cover has to be on point. Your editing has to be on point. All of this stuff has to be on point. That's just the floor. That's just the floor. So there's a lot of competition. Now, for the smart author, and then I will say, you will start building your tribe today. Today. I don't care if you have a book or not. You will, If you got a concept, that's enough to start. I don't care if it's four people at the end of the month. It's a beginning. See, this is, this is where success happens when you're making money online. The beginning stages when you're going through your fuck-ups, your, your, your trials and tribulations, when shit is not going the way that you want, when you want to just say, you know what? I may go back and get that fucking job. When, you know, shit goes like that. I will tell you, uh, I did this the first year. I wasn't really making any money with the YouTube channel. I wasn't making any money with the blog. That came, like, I'll just tell you that first year of May 60, most of that came in the last three to four months. I went to Walmart. I went to Lowe's. I went to Home Depot. And, went to the, and they got these kiosk things. And I understand it's been a long time since I applied for a job. So I went in there and I did this stuff. They didn't call me back. I was looking for a $10 part-time job just to put a little extra change in my pocket while I worked on my business. Uh, they said, fuck you. So I started working 24 hours a day, literally. I started putting in time and effort. Now, this is something else, and I don't recommend this because it's really bad on your health. But if you work 16, 20 hours a day for two or three months, that's the equivalent of what some people do in six to eight months or maybe a year I'm not kidding you because a lot of people do not work they pretend to work or they are at work doing non work related items or actions and yet want to be paid for the full eight but if you really put out like that you can flatten that learning curve a little bit you can teach yourself so many things now really to make money online the first thing that you have to have is a concept the second thing you have to have is some tenacity the third thing you have to have is a will to win. Tenacity is just sticking with it, but like the uh, game the other day with uh, LeBron and Curry. LeBron had a he had tenacity. He even had the will to win, but the other guys didn't. And you see the results because the last four minutes it was just like nail, nail. They start putting nails down. You you got the th even when it's fucked up, even when shit's going sideways, you still have to go. I can beat this. I can win. You have to tell yourself that because there's no one else that's going to tell you that and believe it except maybe your grandfather, your grandmother, maybe your mother, maybe your father, someone who, who knew you from when you were little. It's just not too many people who are going to be your cheerleader or your support team. You've got to learn how to do that shit yourself. So when things are going sideways and you can look up and go, yeah, I'm still doing this. That's when you know you're an entrepreneur. That's when you know you can make money online. Because if you keep on, sooner or later you will. Can I tell you how much? Nope. Can't tell you how much. But I can tell you, you will win. Now, one of the biggest things that happens with me when I'm talking to people is folks have no idea what the hell they want to do. That's why eBay and Amazon are so attractive because it's like, okay, well, I can go there do research. I can stalk other sellers. I can see what they were selling. I can copy. And so it's, I'm not going to say it's easy. I'm not going to marginalize people like that because I did both and the shit's hard. But what I'm going to say is it's maybe 20% of the equation. When you teach yourself the other 80% of the equation, you become very powerful because you can start walking around to other businesses and stores and you can start making predictions with eerie accuracy because you've been there, you've done that, and you know how to solve problems. You know how to build things. So when you are looking at making money online, you've got to, number one, reduce your burn rate. And what's your burn rate? How much money you spend every month? If you got like a $7,000 a month burn rate, and your bills, and you you bring in seventy five hundred. You have very little money to put into a business. You have time. 
which means it's going to grow much slower, which is cool. But many people are just very, very impatient. And I think part of that comes from the internet culture when it's just instant this, instant this. You know how like you freak out when your browser's like eight. 0.9 seconds slow and you're like oh man I gotta get me Comcast or I gotta get me AT&T because this shit's just too slow it's like that I mean a, to build a business or support you in a year or two is not really a long time but if you're trying to live the dream and chase the dream at the same time it seems like an incredibly long time it seems like a really really rough rough time frame because someone's keeping you from your success and you're just about to freak out. But I'm going to do something I've never done before. So if you come across this video long, to, you know, long, eons in the future, just email me if it's still going on. It may not. I'm going to make an offer. Okay, let me let me just be real straight. Do not. Put this shit in the comments. What's at the end of the video? Some people think they're just helping people. No, you're crippling them. You're putting fucking crutches on them. For the first 30 people, first 30 people that make it to the end, we're going to do what I call Project Quest, which means you get to talk to me one on one, and we're going to figure out what you should do and become really, really good at this because. I'll talk to people, and people don't like the recommendations because I will talk to you, and you want to do A, but your strengths say you should do Z. And you're like, I don't like that shit, but that's where you'll be successful. I didn't like making videos in the beginning. I didn't, you know, writing was such a struggle. I was sitting in a room when I was in a boarding house and all day to write 250 words. All fucking day. I'm talking 12 hours to write 250 words. I can do that in five minutes now. And it looks damn good. But I worked on it. So what we're going to do in Project Quest is figure out what you need to do. Now let's just define this. Number one, when you sign up, and there will be a charge. My normal rate is 500 to 750 an hour. It will not be that. I'll do... 150 to 200. Now, for that, we're going to talk three to four times about what you should do, where you should put your energy, where you should put your, your, what are your strengths? What are your hidden talents? What can you do to make money? Because it's not the ideal that makes the money. It's the execution. So if you learn to execute in your strength, because I can talk all fucking day. My daughter made a comment and I had to check her because she's like, you and you do, you know, y'all talking like girls. Let's know we're talking like men. You're just not used to men who can express themselves for a long period of time. She said, my bad. And she went back to her room. Essentially, that's a strength for me that I marginalized and didn't really pay attention for years because I always was trying to do A when I should have been doing Z. And I see a lot of that with you. So what we're going to do so I'm going to sit down, I'm going to call you up, and you know, and I'm going to do a Google Hangout. And it'll just be me and you, because nobody, you know, the group sessions, people are like, I don't want a group session. I don't want to tell nobody what I'm doing, because I'm embarrassed and shit. So, that's why it's only limited 30 people. That's why it's Project Quest. So, one-time fee, three to four times, we're going to talk, and we're going to figure out what your strengths are. And we're going to do number one. First talk is going to be... A personal evaluation of who the who you are as a person, your strengths, your hobbies, all that stuff. Then the second thing is going to be some recommendations, and third is going to be an action plan. So for the first thirty people who get to the end of the video, do not put that this is in the end of the video in the comments. I tell people that if you do it, I'm going to ban you from the island because what you're doing is you're hindering the growth of people. If they see this video and watch five minutes and don't know there's a serious offer at the end, hey, that's how I am. What I'm learning is the people who find me on their own and watch these videos as long as they are to the end, they make better clients, they have better outcomes. So that's what I want. So I'm going on and on and on about this because people are just like trying to help out there. But no, no, no. Let them do their own work. So once again. Project Quest. There'll be a link here 
and it's going to be annotation because if I put it in the cards, then as soon as someone hits that eye, they're going to see it. So it's going to be an annotation that's going to go to a private section of the Hustler Mindset Project website. And that's where you get to sign up. Now, once you sign up, you're going to get an email from me or Amy, and we're going to set a day for us to talk. Yep, it's going to be soon because I've cleared my schedule off and made some stuff. So what we're going to do, hang out. Oh, if you've never done a hangout, you're going to need headsets or phones and a computer with a camera. You could possibly do the hangout on your phone, but that's on you to download the apps and play around with it. So we're going to do the hangout, and we're going to set, like, say you buy it today. Your, your appointment will be set today because I've cleared out some room for this, and I've changed some stuff around because I really want to see you be successful. I really do. And I see people trying to do all of this other stuff and just leave money on the tape by ignoring their strengths, by trying to be someone else, trying to set this thing up where it's really no good. So, number one, Project Quest is a beta project. 30 people, no discounts, no, 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 no. So the first 30 people that get in, that's what we're going to do. So your link will be here, somewhere around here, and once again, it'll be an annotation. And the big emphasis will be how to take your talents and stuff and your abilities and make money online. Should you set up a YouTube channel? Should you do a podcast? Should I mean, because the thing is, if you work within your strengths, when the going gets tough, it is going to get tough. There is no if, ands, and buts about that shit. It is going to get tough. Then your strengths will be like, Ur. you'd be like the fucking Hulk on that shit. You'd be like, Ur. yeah, it's rough, but I'm the Hulk. Boom. Smash that shit. Keep going. Make your life. Make your money. Be happy. And then you, too, can experience the wonderful life of controlling your time. So that's what we're going to do. So, boom. Here, do not tell anybody. Got me? And we're going to have fun. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun. So, depending upon how this thing goes with people, <clears throat> I'll let you know if I'll do it again in the future. Because I think I'm nuts. I really do. I think I'm absolutely nuts. Because there's going to be a lot of different stuff in this. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you in the next session. And shh, don't say a word. I will break your legs and then talk bad about your mama and dad too. Yes, I will. Because I'm dead.